but I, I remember one story, Kachin. Um, I, I want Alex to quit uh, from smoking, and I, when we were at the front, uh, all people there were smoking, and I uh, asked uh, Alex to lit the cigarette and give give me, because I thought that he wouldn't <laughs> he wouldn't um, want me to uh, to smoke cigarettes. Right. And yes, I, I just want I, I just said him that uh, if you uh, if you smoke cigarettes, <laughs> then I do also and. Uh, I thought that he, how to say it? <laughs> I, I don't. One? Yes, but <laughs> it was a surprise for me. He didn't care. He just <laughs> yes, and he just lit cigarettes and gave me, and it it was normal for him. And I was, <laughs> I, I understood that this is no not the exactly uh, the right way to. To make him quit from smoking, and then I just, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> no Alex, result, you know. <laughs> Alex, I think you are very much yeah. like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then he, uh, after having babies, he uh, become to no smoking conditions by himself, you know, without my help. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. That's a good story. Let me go to Lita. Lita, I want to get your uh, take here too. Uh, you're a non-smoker, right? Right. Have you? What about your mom or your your parents or anybody? No smoker in my family. So, but you know, you're a tough guy. I know you're a, you're kind of a gangster. I imagine your friends smoke. No. You have non-smoking gangster friends? Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's this one. Just one guy. Now, these ones. What do you mean, these ones? Uh, uh, I have wait, uh, one, two. I have uh, three close friends, and uh, nobody from nobody uh, uh, doesn't smoke. None of them no smoke. smoke. Yeah. That's great. That's really That's good. Great. And. Was it this way your whole life? Have all your friends always been non-smokers? Yeah, because uh, we always been uh, into sports, uh -huh. and smoking and uh, exercising uh, doesn't go. It's together. a tough combination. Yeah. There you go. So, and, so because of your friends and your love of sports, you were able to never start smoking. Yeah, I, in my class in uh, school, 80% uh, were smoker. Wow. Guys, and it does. It didn't bother me because because I just said no, thank you. And and because you were an athlete, the other guys were like, okay, no problem, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's when great. You, when a little bit uh, have your own opinion. And uh, sometimes it works. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Let me finish up here with Marwa. Marwa, do you smoke? No, <laughs> I never smoke. And none of me or my, none of my four brothers or my parents. Wow, so you're, you're once again, not. another, another non-smoking family. <laughs> yes. That's good. So do any of your friends smoke? No. What about your coworkers? Maybe some guys. Okay. So in e you 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 live in Egypt, correct? Yeah. So is smoking <laughs> uh can anybody smoke or is it just a guy thing or is it uh anyone men and women? No, oh, men men and women. And And it's, how, so how come it's Go ahead. It's popular in Egypt, yeah, men, for men especially, but uh, you can find women also smoke in Egypt. Okay, so if you go like to a coffee shop, you can see women smoking too. Yeah. <laughs> so none of your friends smoke? My friend, no, I, I have a lot of girls like me, they, they don't smoke. 
Now that's great. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it goes back to what Valerie was saying, and and I totally agree. Um, my mom and dad smoked. Uh, I started smoking when I was a kid. I remember it was Terry Shireman who taught me how to smoke. I was in Greenwood, which put me in fourth grade, which means I was five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. I was nine years old when I had my first uh, cigarette, uh, and uh, and Terry was two years older than me, so it was really cool, and uh, yeah, and I, I continued smoking until 2014. Uh, when I finally quit, and uh, I don't know, maybe when before I die, maybe I'll start again. Because to be honest, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I just know it's not healthy, but I did enjoy it. Yeah, kids starting that environment is so funny. So I'm really happy with uh, Alex and Gulia. Alex being a smoker, they have young children, and uh, he quit. For the kids, uh, that's great. That's really nice. Uh, congratulations. Good job, Alex. Yeah, thank you, Coach. <laughs> Santa, show us the next question, please. That's right. That's right, Coach. Yeah, that's uh, this is a very interesting story. I I hope there's more information about the uh, the boy's lawyer the uh the woman oh what's her name reggie thank you um and uh she was uh reggie love that's right uh she was a society woman uh married to a famous doctor very rich and lived a nice life uh and then her husband she discovered was garbage so she was able to uh divorce him but uh, he somehow managed to get everything and she was left with nothing. So basically she was, I don't know, 40 years old with nothing. No money, no house, no children, nothing. And she had some alcohol problems. I think drugs were a problem too. But she managed to start a second life. She managed to start all over, and she did a fantastic job. Uh, she became a lawyer. So that's, we can all imagine, that's not easy. And especially when you're older, it might be more difficult, but she did it. So Valerie's question was, let's say that you have to start a new career, and only these three choices are open to you, a police officer, a child psychiatrist, a lawyer. Which one would you choose? Or, and or, which one would you absolutely not want? I really like the question. And I think the not want is uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Oh, so let's get Santa on this one. Santa, you say police officer. You would not want to be a police officer. Why not? That's from day one. You gotta put your life out there. I don't know, really. I don't uh, think I'm ready. The risk of life. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. So. Yeah. Um. I don't know. In other countries, though, is it as dangerous? America's pretty tough. Uh. America's pretty risky. Um. I don't know how it is in other countries. I'm curious. It's it's interesting. Uh, but yeah, especially I think, in, at least in the United States, um, I'm sure in Santa and Korea it's probably nothing, but maybe in the UK it's pretty tough too, pretty dangerous. Uh, in America, definitely it's it's dangerous. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go on the list here. Alexander Chernyak, Lita, you have to start a new career. You only can choose police officer, child psychiatrist, or lawyer. Which would you choose or... Which would you not want to choose? Santa, can you split the screen so we can always see those three choices? Lita, your mic's off. Uh, 
police officer uh, like uh, you have or like we have? In, in your country. Think about your country. Uh, definitely not police officer. Why not? I hate them. <laughs> Santa, you don't have to show us that much. Just show us the three jobs. That's all. Yeah, just just zoop way up there. Uh, why why do you hate them? Are they corrupt in your country? Corrupt. Uh, they they worse than the prostitutes. Okay? Oh God. Yeah. So definitely not a police officer. Definitely not. What about a child uh, shrink? Psychiatrists, we say shrink because they make your problems small. What about a child shrink or a lawyer? Uh, no. Uh, so you're going to be uh, homeless? A lawyer would be a good choice from, from, from them. <laughs> child psychiatrist, it's not my stock. It's not, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not my stock either, yeah. So you're going to be homeless? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> you're still. I know you. I know you, though, Alex. Uh, you're an entrepreneur, so you'll su you'll suddenly start your own business. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I love it. Let me go to Alex. Santa, can you scoot that up? Because we only need to see the the three jobs. Yeah, bring that up, please. Thank you, Alex. What about you? A cop, a shrink, or a lawyer? Cochain? Yes. The cop, the shrink, or lawyer? I think I <clears throat> I choose shrink, you know. Why? I don't know. I, mean, I think I, might, I, can, might I, I can help people, yes, to make decisions, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make decisions of to smoke or not to smoke, right? Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, of those three, uh, child psychiatrist sounds the most interesting, most possible to you, huh? No, it's, it's, of course I'm laughing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> child psychiatrist, I think it's terrible. That'd be a tough um, job. I, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, tough job for me. Hmm. Mm, because... You know, child, you have to understand them, you have to know their problems, you have to uh, you live have to in there. Talk to them. Yeah, talk to them. And you have to know them all, you know. Yeah, you need patience. Maybe cop, you know. I think you, you sound like you'd be a good cop. Yeah. Would you be a good cop or a bad cop? Bad cop. I think uh, the, the middle cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> let me go. Let me. I'm gonna skip Dimitri and Eva. Let me go to Guria. <laughs> Which one of these three? A cop, a shrink, or a lawyer? Um, to be honest, I I'm afraid of being cop because they could, there is the possibility to kill uh, to kill a man. Yeah, it's to dangerous. Somebody, yeah, to kill to kill person, yes. Lawyers, I think uh, you have to uh, deal with the lie, lie, to lie. lie. Yeah, yes. lawyers have to deal with liars. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's also not my my choice. So <laughs> maybe child, uh, how to say, psychiatrist, but psychiatrist, be, psychiatrist, but. I would like to stay just a mom. <laughs> but you can't. You have to choose a job. So do you think? So you're you're a mom. You have uh, three kids. Are you good yes, at maybe communicating with your kids? Yes. To be honest, I have to deal with uh, psych psych how to say psychology. <laughs> yes, psychology of dealing with kids because. And, uh, you know, you, you have to explain them. It's, it's the every, every time, every second uh, job, you know. 
So I think that all moms are a little bit psychologists. A little bit psychiatrists. Psychiatrists. Oh, I can't remember this word. <laughs> No, that's that's a good point. Um, I think uh, Guria I think is good right. Good moms, they have to deal with uh, they ha they have to understand the psychology of their child, children, not to hurt them, not to make them to, to afraid of something. So, to do their best to make a good person and to to make them happy, you know. That's right. Everybody, let's discuss this, these words for a second. Psychologist and psychiatrist. Um, do you guys understand the difference between these two? Anybody give a, like a one-line definition? Psychology. Psych Uh, psychologist uh, guy who <clears throat> I think who help uh, who help people make decisions, kind of uh, make problems, uh, uh, not make uh, work out the problems and something like that. And psychiatrist, it's uh, this is in addition uh, uh, who make who have deal with uh, demand people. Yeah, yeah, that's ba basically right. And what Santa wrote, oh, Santa, don't erase it. That was absolutely right. What Santa wrote is uh, actually the, the, the easiest definition. And I'm going to add to that. So what, what Alex said, psychologists try to Durant, help people. people. Yes, yes. Psychologists try to help people and psychiatrists deal with crazy people. Um, yeah, that's actually a pretty good definition. Add, let's add that too. Um, they, Santa, let's say they try to help people, to help people, and uh, and psychiatrists they deal with crazy people. Yes, everybody, these are really terrible definitions, but they're not wrong. They are true. Um, psychologist is not a doctor. A psychiatrist is a doctor, and what that means, this is really important. Psychologists cannot give drugs cannot give drugs thank you uh, and Santa, to do this can I cannot prescribe drugs dash dash they have to work through the problem and psychiatrists can give drugs so they often skip the problem and drug the problem. Um, and uh, in my opinion, the psychiatrist has more training, but the psychologist does has a tougher job. Um, that that's just my opinion. Uh, and uh, I've known both. And uh, yeah, psychologists they have a tough job. Uh, the problem is, I'm going through your chats here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody understands that. Uh, everybody's laughing. Uh, kill me. I don't want to live. What are you going to do? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's scary stuff. Um, the problem is they're good people. I mean, parents. Yeah. Oh, you guys are chatting on your own. Whatever. I'm going to ignore your chats. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think you're right. So let's go back to what Gulia was saying. Um, and Guya, the words you are using are, are actually more accurate. Every mom has to be a psychologist. To be a good mom, you need to be uh, a bit of a psychologist. You have to understand the psychology of their children. Um, there you go. Eva says, my daughter is a psychologist, a child psychologist. My goodness. Eva, go ahead, turn your mic on, please. Eva, do you agree? Do you think your daughter would agree with me that a psychologist works harder than a psychiatrist? Um, I I can't say that because I can't compare. Right. I don't know any of uh, psychiatrists. Um, and um, but I see that um, okay, it's very interesting because uh, she is now on her maternity leave and 
in some month she's going back to work but I observe her how she works no works how she deals with her children yep and it's it's really different as I did oh really I, uh, not not exactly but there are some um, special ways I would uh, do differently and um, I like it I like it very much and she um, she works also a lot while being on maternity leave uh, because she has a group of other mothers and also parents and uh, they have some sessions and uh, they speak about how to um, how to be with children how to right. deal with different um, problems and uh, Okay, she studies a lot and tries tries to give it into practice. So I really admire her job. <laughs> yeah, see, that's but one thing. I, I think that's pretty good. I think a lot of people talk, 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 study, study, study. But as long as she's actually doing it with her children, that's pretty cool. Uh, yes, with her children, and also um, she form. There is a. There are different group. maternity centers, and there are groups of um, parents. They meet together, and um, so they um, speak about their experiences and so on. I think that they learn how to deal with everyday situations. That's great. I really like it. So would you also, if you had to choose, would you be interested in becoming a child psychiatrist or psychologist? Um, I think I wouldn't choose any of these. <laughs> I would, <laughs> I would uh, be unemployed yeah, if I had only <laughs> to choose from these three. <laughs> you, and, you and Alex would be hanging together. <laughs> oh, yes, maybe. <laughs> Let me go back to Dimitri. Dimitri. Any of those jobs sound interesting to you? A police officer, a child psychiatrist, a lawyer? Maybe lawyer. Really? Why? So they defend people's rights. Maybe. That's true, but like the, but remember, sometimes the lawyer must defend guilty people. Yes, the right. But sometimes they defend people who is not guilty, sure. but uh, who can be uh, imprisoned. Right? That's right. Falsely accused or falsely imprisoned. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll write those down. Falsely. Yeah, thank you, Santa. Uh, sometimes uh, they defend people. Ed defend Santa. But sometimes uh, they defend people who are falsely accused. And in prison too. Yeah, that's great. So you would choose uh, good people to work with. Yes, only them. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's less money, but it's a good heart. Uh, that's great. Very good. Very good. Uh, Marwa, a cop, a shrink, or a lawyer? Shrink. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah, although it's very difficult for me, but uh, I have no choice. I have no other choice. <laughs> That's the only good choice for you. Yeah, police in Egypt has very bad reputation, and they are torn to all people, and they they are very tough. Oh. Yeah, I. I uh, it sounds. Yeah. Sounds, and what about <laughs> and lawyers? It's not an easy, of course. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. That that's a good enough reason. I totally understand. And Valerie, this is your question. I'm guessing Valerie would also become a lawyer. Okay, lawyer is good if you can can do this job. If if you can do this job, if you if you can uh, defend, be a defense for the uh, poor people that they want. Okay, to. so so like Dimitri, a lawyer would be good if uh, you can choose uh, the innocent victims. Yeah, if you can help them. Yeah. 
But there's no money there, but, but you will be a poor boy. <laughs> What's that? But you will be a poor a poor lawyer lawyer in this case. That's right. You'll be a poor lawyer. That's for sure. <laughs> that's true. Valerie. I'm back. Um, I, I will choose a lawyer if I am uh, able to choose my clients, mm -hmm. but that is not always the case. True. Um, a child shrink uh, would be something I would like, I would love to do, but I think I'm a bit too emotional to do this kind of, um, of job. Really? Yeah, I think. You have... Um, to manage, um, um, yeah, to deal with your emotions. I, th I think if I do this kind of job, I, I won't be able to sleep during the night. I would like to get uh, perhaps too much involved in their story, try, try to save them from uh, what they suffer. And uh, so perhaps a, a lawyer would be the best uh, for me. Um, even if, if something so someone is guilty. It, of course, it depends of what he did. Right. But um, yes, we can try to find in his life, like excuses. Um, yeah, um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, um, I mean, if uh, uh, if the, if a woman kills her husband because he was abusing her, is she yeah. really guilty? Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. There are Definitely. cases. Definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, Police officer, definitely not not about the job, I think, but uh, mainly because of the colleagues I could have. Mm. Um, um, I have met uh, some police officers. Some are very good. They truly believe uh, in their job. Mm. Others are just a um, tough guy who right. just like uh, to show to show up a little. So. Yes, um, but it just doesn't. Uh, um, it doesn't. Yeah, 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 doesn't really appeal to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really interesting thing. Um, these are these are deep questions. I mean, lawyer and police officer might be a little bit easier, but the child uh, psychiatrist, like Valerie said, um, and like also Alex said, you have to actually communicate with the children and happy children don't go to the psychiatrist children who have experienced horrors that you and I cannot imagine uh, go to a psychiatrist um, so yeah um, it's uh, that'd be the tough one uh, for me I don't I, I think I'm good at solving puzzles so the idea of a psychiatrist, I think it would be a job I could do, uh, but I wouldn't want to. And not because of the emotion. I'm pretty good at turning off my emotions. Uh, for me, it would be because I don't like children. <laughs> um, a police officer, uh, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I think I could be a good cop. Um, uh, you know, there are many different types of police. Uh, I would prefer to be more of a detective than a uniformed police officer. Um, so the idea of being a detective, once again, solving problems uh, would be good. And a lawyer, that's something I was interested in when I was younger. Uh, as a new career at my age right now, um, it seems like it's too much work, uh, and and I'm not afraid of the work, but if I had the choice of a police officer or a lawyer, I would probably choose the police officer. It's not about money. Obviously, a lawyer can make a lot more money, and when it comes to defending people, like Valerie said, you don't have a choice many times on who you defend. Uh, you work for somebody and they choose your client. Um, I could do that. It doesn't, I mean, I could do my job. I've 
done bad things before and I can do bad things again, I'm sure. Uh, I don't want to. That's why I think a police officer, to be honest, would be the best for me. Um, I could sleep at night. Um, I could hopefully be a detective and be safe or safer. And uh, I think I'd do a good job as a career change. So if you don't hear of me in five years as an English teacher, you might be able to find me as a detective in the Chicago police force. No, <laughs> it might be. Uh, I really like the questions. I want to talk a little bit about uh, what Marwa, Marwa recommended something to Santa, I, I, and I do like it. It's tough with the story though. So Marwa sent us a bunch of quotes that uh, she really liked from the book. And I think it's a great idea for everybody to send in some quotes that, that you liked. Uh, what Marwa did was she sent quotes that in particular describe the characteristics of the main character. This is actually really difficult. Uh, this type of uh, an ass uh, assignment, if you will. Um, but I really liked it. So we're going to include this in the um, the notes, but I'm not going to read them. But I want you to guys, I want you guys to think about this in the future. If there is something that you hear that you really like, maybe it's funny, maybe it's clever. Uh, maybe it was confusing and you want to ask me a question. I want you to bring them next week. So starting next week, I hope that everyone can bring at least a question from a line, a sentence in the book. Okay? So you don't have to memorize it. You don't have to dictate it. But I basically want you to remember the situation and try your best to write down the sentence as you heard it. And then you can share it with us or you can ask questions about it. Once again, this book that we're listening to is the short version of the novel. The novel is actually much longer. It's the short version, I think. Um, I haven't read the novel in so long. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not easy to do, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Is there a line? Is there something that you really like? Now, for me, it's really difficult to do that because I usually listen to the book when I'm driving or washing dishes. So I don't have a pen. <laughs> I can't write anything down. And if you are like me, don't worry about it. But if you are listening and you have a pen and a piece of paper, by all means, write down what you hear and ask me. Uh, bring it to the Hangout next week and let's share it. Um, talking about the scene, describing the scene, giving a summary of the situation, of the characters, of the quotations is very important. I think it's a very good thing to do. Once again, right now, as far as the audio book is concerned, I'm going to tell you where I'm at. Hold on, I'm looking at my phone. Um, right now, I'm at... Uh, I'm in chapter three. I got I, I have four hours and seven minutes remaining uh, for me. Let's go to the chapters here. So this is what I want to do. Let's go through the end of chapter four. That's what I want. So not too much, but through the end of chapter four, we'll do two chapters a week uh, from now on. So through the end of chapter four for this audio book is where I want to be next week. I hope that all of you can do that. You don't have to listen uh, super carefully. The story is not so bad. If you haven't started, please start at the beginning. It's actually very interesting and very easy to catch the story. Okay? So if you haven't started yet, please start at the beginning. And 
I want you to listen up to the end of chapter four in the audio book, which is basically halfway. So if you have questions, philosophical questions, interesting questions, Valerie is the genius of questions. I, I always love her questions, very creative. Um, and Marwa has a challenge once again with the quotes. See if you can find something that you like. And that's what I want to do about uh, next week. Uh, one thing I need to talk about also, uh, about Gulia's credits. Gulia, as far as I know, you can quit your uh, Amazon membership right now and you will still keep your credits. Okay, so even if you quit, you're not going to lose your books and you're not going to lose your credits. But let me make sure. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, they say you lose them. That's not cool. So we need to find the next three books. Okay. Um, Gulia, when is your membership over? I'm sorry. When do, when do you pay? When are you supposed to pay again? The end of the month? Okay. So you still have about a week. Uh, yeah, let's do this then, everybody. Uh, let's try and, and because of the currency, maybe this will help other people too. Um, let's try and fix our next two or three books. So if you have an audio book that you would like to study, please send it to Santa. And uh, let's do this within uh, a week. And then next week when we get together, uh, hopefully, Gulia, uh, I can give you at least one or two books, if not all three books, so you can save on uh, that membership. Um, so if you have any ideas on books that you would like to have included in the uh, book club, send them to Santa and uh, I'll decide uh, for us. Okay? Um, just a question. If you, if you have ever read a, a good book about uh, uh, the history of the states, yeah. I would love to learn more about um, that topic. So if you could find a book related yep. to that topic, I would love that. I'm so happy you said that because I'm actually looking for a book uh, on Lewis and Clark right now. And that's, an, uh, that's about two explorers in America. I think you might like that. So, yeah, that is something that I definitely want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. we, we learned, uh, I learned a lot uh, when we were reading the book about, um, you know, the crisis in the 30s, 20s, ah, 30s. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I loved it and uh, just a way to learn things and reading a book, I think it's great. Absolutely. Remember everybody, the book length we prefer four hours to eight hours, between four and eight hours. Um, so if you find a book that's 18 hours long, it's too much. Uh, we can't do that. Yeah, Mahmoud has some uh, suggestions, and uh, I know that uh, Marwa has suggestions. So anybody, if you have something, a suggestion, please let us know. And, and I'm going to be the mean guy. I'm going to do the picking, um, and uh, yeah, American history will definitely be one of them. Yeah, I, am, I love this um, suggestion, although I have one, I would send it to, to Santa. But, uh, great, great. Be great yeah. Oh, I think I have a good one. Mm. I'm looking at, uh, I'll just give you a link right now, everybody. I think this might be pretty good. Uh, this is regarding uh, American history, the suppressed history of America. Anyway, I'll keep looking too. Thank you, Santa, for them. <laughs> Veronica decides to die. That's a pretty oh, heavy yeah. <laughs> What the heck is, Ma is Mahmoud reading that book for? Mahmoud is a tough guy. 
<laughs> yeah, but the uh, length is perfect. It's Paulo Coelho, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, I think, something we could definitely do. We've done Paulo Coelho before. Maybe not, but we'll see. We'll see. So right now we have, oh, Charlie's Chocolate Factory. Yeah, that's a good one too. That's a story that probably everybody knows. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, I'm looking at the length, three hours, three hours, 40 minutes. Hmm, a little bit short, but maybe that would be okay. That's possible too. Ooh, it's expensive. Yeah, so that'd be a good one. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe that'll be it. Uh, if you have other suggestions, guys, please send them. But right now, it looks like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory might be really good. Suppressed History of America might be good. And Veronica Decides to Die might be good. Uh, Santa will put this in uh, the newsletter. So uh, it's British. Damn it. That's okay. I don't mind. It's it's Roald Dahl. It's the original guy, so I don't mind. We'll see. We'll see. Dahl is British. Damn those British people. My God, they need to learn how to speak English, I tell you. <laughs> Alexander, the last one I read, I missed it. The Crossing. Ooh, actually, I've heard of that. The Crossing. It might be too long, though. Michael Connolly, yeah. Nine hours. It's too long. Too long, young man. It's a great book, though. Very famous book. Caleb's Crossing. No, too long. Yeah, so that time limit, everybody, is important. Between four and eight hours. I know this much is true. Really? Seven to eight hours? Hmm. Okay, I'll think about it because I've read that book. I know this much is true. I've read that. Uh, so I'll look it up. That's a heavy book, though, I think. I mean, that's a not an easy book. A lot to discuss. Yeah, it's a great book for discuss for. It's a great book, Alexander. I, to I totally agree. The life changing magic of tidying up. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very nice book. I, I, did, I haven't read it before, but uh, my friend uh, told me about it, and I, I, love, uh, I love the book. Is it by a Japanese lady? Yeah, it is. Yes, yes. Yeah. That actually might not be too bad. So you guys, Santa will put this in a list. If you have something to add, great. Um, if you have something, if you, if you disagree about a book, then please let Santa know too. Uh, if you disagree, uh, like, oh, no, uh, The Crossing is garbage, it's terrible, I don't want to read it, whatever. If you have that kind of opinion, please let us know that, too, okay? But, uh, yeah, I think right now we've got – Santa, get rid of a history book on Lewis and Clark. Get rid of that one um, and just leave The Suppressed History. There you go. Thank you. Uh, we've got looks like five books here, yeah, six books here that might be really good. Get rid of The Crossing, too. It's too long. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, we'll make a decision next week. Is that isn't that nice, Gulia? You've got such a nice book club. Yeah, Katja. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You, do, you guys did day. great today. Thanks for the participation. Next week, oh, I do yeah. want more discussion on the story, more discussion on the story. I want to make sure everybody goes up to chapter four, through chapter four, everybody. So take your time and enjoy the story. It's not that difficult, okay? Okay. I have a question, please. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, when and what time? Uh, you yes. made... <laughs> uh, we have to go back. Next week, we'll do it on Thursday. At the same time, same same starting time, Thursday, 12 o'clock for uh, – that's Los but Angeles. What uh, but what time? Yeah, 10 o'clock Los Angeles time. 10? Uh, I'm sorry. 12. 12 o'clock. Yeah, I'm confused. Uh, for me, time. Yeah, for me, today we started at uh, 12 o'clock Chicago time. Thursday. 
Chicago time is, per is better for me. It's perfect. Yeah, Ch Chicago time, 12 o'clock, is 10 o'clock uh, Los Angeles time. So maybe I won't be able to join you. Why not? Um, you will laugh, but I'm dancing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should not laugh. Um, <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> Sandra says... Uh, People are saying, "What about Saturday? Maybe we'll maybe we'll bounce. Uh, maybe sometimes Saturdays, sometimes Thursdays. Is that okay? Santa, you want Saturday? No. Santa wants Saturday. Yeah, not bad. Saturday is a good day. Yeah. Oh my God, Valerie wants Saturday. But I, I love Thursday too. So. Um... Okay, let's. This is what we'll do next week, Saturday, 12 p.m. Chicago time. Okay. Now, Eva, are you going to be able to join us? Um, generally, yes, but you know, uh, we have we have a spring holiday, but oh, maybe God. I will be at home this week, uh, this uh, weekend. Oh but my goodness! <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, so um, I will call something some uh some way. <laughs> That's great. I hope you can. So once again, Saturday, uh, 12 p.m. Chicago time. So basically one week, uh, six days away, and uh, we will go up to Chapter 4. Okay, guys? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Santa. Thank you. Great job, everybody. Thanks Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Santa. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Kachin.